goddamn. Motherfucking Glenville. Shit, we made it, man. On top of the world, we got the hot dog spokesman in the building. This is some shit. Listen, he's happy about some shit right now. I don't know what he was drinking. Can I get some of that, though? Because I want to feel like him. Yeah, man, I was, recently I was just at a place in uh, Albany and shit, it's called Quintessence, and my man, he was playing in a band, alright, she's been there before, she happy about some shit too, alright, you know the hot dog man. <laughs> so my man playing in this band, and um, it, I, I learned something that night, I learned that there's certain words that uh, like, you know, white people use that black people don't use. And, and I didn't know what it was until I was sitting there and he was listening to the band and he was like, yeah, alright, you guys are good, right? Right, and then when the band got real good and played like a real good note, he was like, absolutely! I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, that's not a word that a brother normally would say. He talking to a brother, like, your brother, hey, you got that, uh, your brother, you got that, you know, you got that. And he'd be like, absolutely! I'm like, whoa, <laughs> we just don't use words like that, man. It's tough, man, it's tough. Um, I know you guys looking at right now, you're like, yo, this motherfucker is big. This motherfucker is just big for no reason. I'm 6'7", 250, and my weakness are white women. I'm sorry, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I figured, now, I try to get to the league and shit. I play D1 basketball, so I'm like, okay, I play basketball. If I get a white girl, I can go to the league. I figure that's how shit work. I watch the trend, I see Kobe and her, I fuck, this how tired you, I fuck, that's how they do it. <laughs> I see it didn't work out for me. I'm in Glenville doing comedy. I don't know where you're wrong. I don't know. I don't know if it's a jump shot. Maybe she wasn't tall enough. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard being tall, man. It's really hard. It's hard. And I see the airport. And the airport when I drove up here just brought back memories because I was I was in an airplane, right? And um, but, you know, my stomach was like, uh, you know, they feed you on the airplane, you get the peanuts and shit, you get the food, and I had some chimichanga, but curry chimichangas. Uh, ass is on fire. Uh, that, that's my ass on fire song. That's, yeah, that's my ass on fire song. <laughs> so I stand up in a plane and shit, you know, I stand up, and uh, you know, the plane just hit me here and shit, you know, so I gotta use the bathroom, so I walk to the bathroom, you know, I get to the bathroom, and the door is like right here. So you figure there's more room in that motherfucker, right? So I'm like, all right, open the door, I'm like, all right, here we go. Wait, oh shit, this motherfucker just, oh, wait, this, whoa, shit, my ass is on fire. Put that on, give me a second. Shit, this motherfucker. Uh, I got a foot up against the wall, one in the sink. I'm like, you gotta give a brother half price on a ticket, cause this, this is bullshit right now. So the worst part was I was getting up, right? I went to bed, I'm still bent over and shit. I'm trying to pull my pants up, but my ass is in that vacant occupy lock. I'm like, vacant, occupy, vacant, occupy. Is somebody trying to come in this way? Can a brother wash his hands? Just give me a second. What the fuck? Stop being tall, you guys don't get it. You just be thinking, you know. He tall, look at him, he just, he's like, hey, his life is easy. No! I can't fit into a lot of fucking things, man. This shit is hard work up here. Shit, you know. Uh, anybody out here dating? Yes? No? Anybody ever been on a date? Fuck it, I mean, shit, that's the question you can answer. You know, I'm with my girl, I'm just, <laughs> you know, we, we don't, we, yeah, we, we just go out date night, you know, fuck it. So I was on a date and shit, you know what I'm saying? I was on a date. And uh, it's, it's 2011 now, you know what I'm saying? Girls are doing it big. Good up for the ladies, 2011, independent women. Okay, maybe they're not in this motherfucking glimpse. You know <laughs> Your husband might listen, you don't say a fucking word. He said independent, you fucking shit. You don't do a motherfucking thing, all right? So when she comes to pick me up, right? And I'm like, you know, I'm feeling all good and shit, you know? So we go, we hit the movie up and shit, you know? And then we hit dinner, and then we, you know, we start making out her car and shit. You know, we pull into the parking lot of uh, TJ's. <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to TJ, thanks. Uh, TJ, I wanna give a shout out to TJ real quick before I get back to that joke. Uh, when I was over by the bar, TJ knows I had all the black on, right? And then he looked at me, and he was like, wait, we can't really see this motherfucker. So he turned the lights up and shit. <laughs> I don't think he noticed that move that I just did for him. I don't think he know I noticed that. I was like, no, T, I got you. I ain't mad at you, though. I want you to see me. So, 
<laughs> yeah, that's right, we was making hours. <laughs> so we're making out a smart car, right? And um, um yeah, yeah, take your time with this one. You know. She was like, can we go back to your house? I was like, no, I don't have a place to live. She's like, why not? Because I said the rent's too damn high. <laughs> so, that's a political joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, make it out right. And once again, like I said, it was a smart car. So, you know, fellas, we gonna get what we need to get when we need to get it, right? So I figured, you know, I was like, okay, let me figure this shit out. So I put it in the middle panel, right? Because it was empty, right? Then I turned it to like a gymnast, you know, like Jean-Claude Van Damme and Bloodsport. I put one foot out that window, put the other foot out that window, and I was like, dip, dip, dip. She tried to get out my tea bag up. Get your ass back I ain't done yet. It's hard work. I had to do a lot just to get through this point. Shit. I gotta figure this shit out, man. Once again, it's tough. Being tall, man, you don't get it. It's hard work, man. It's hard work. It's hard work, man. It's hard work. It's hard. Self being tall, man. Self being tan as I am. Actually, I'm black. I'm sorry. I always wanted to say that, though. You know, you know it's tough sometimes. And you ever, like, I, I realize that some, some brothers you meet aren't really brothers and shit. You know what I'm saying? They're brothers, but they're not like what they describe or, or what they look like. You know what I'm saying? So I met this dude. I didn't meet him, actually. I had to get directions, you know? And he was a thug and shit. He was hard. He had jeans on. He had the Tim's on. You know what I'm saying? He had the, the hoodie. He had the uh, do-rag and, 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 and the wave cap and all that on it. And it was 80 degrees. I was like, brother, can't you get away from the weather? Clothes out the fight. So I walk up to him. I'm like, yo, listen. I got to get my thug voice. I was like, yo, yo, son, listen. <laughs> yo, yo, listen. All right, look, I need, I need directions, right? Yo, so I need directions to the mall. He looked at me, he was like, all right, what you wanna do is, all right, what you, wanna, you wanna go straight down the street, right? And you wanna go, you wanna make a left, then you make a right. I was like, brothers, we don't even talk like this. I looked at him, I said the only thing I could think of. I was like, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> he went, what did I say? Fuck it. I said, fuck it. How many people had to drink? Get your drink on? That is correct. The motherfuckers raised their hand like they was in school. <laughs> Nobody said, yeah! Hot dogs. Right here. See, that's some yellow shit. See, that's we're supposed to do that when we say drinking. Yeah, when you get drunk, man, you say crazy shit, man. You say, you say, you say some weird shit, you know, sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? I was drunk one night, you know what I'm saying? I had my little tipsy on, you know? And there was this girl, and I was looking at her, and I was like, all right. And I got my little buzz on, I'm like, okay. And you know, fellas, you, you know what you're gonna say when you think you know what you're gonna say. You're like, okay, I'm gonna buy her a drink. I'm gonna walk over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna buy her a drink. That's all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy her a drink. All right, got it. Got the shit, take my last shot. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, I was wondering how the fuck you about to say. Oh, shit. Oh. That didn't come out right. That, that didn't come out right. <laughs> I'm not getting no ass. Seriously. I'm not getting no ass. The weirdest shit I ever heard, I was in uh, Glens Falls. Woo! Whoa! Glens Falls on the weekend. I've never seen so few black people in my life. I was like... <laughs> Until I got the limp in. I was trying to wait for the laughter to die out, but he used the punches. All right. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and this guy, you know, um, I'm, I'm leaving the bar, and the bar is almost over and stuff, right? You know, so I'm, I'm leaving, I'm ready to go to the next bar. And this guy, he's getting, you know, he's drunk. You know, they, they kick him out, he's like, this white guy, he's like, listen, listen. All right, no, you guys are kicking me out. I know what it is. It's because I'm white. He looked at me, he's like, you know what I'm saying? I looked at him, I said, I don't know what the fuck you saying. This is an all-white bar, what the fuck you talking about? Fucked up shit, man. Fucked up, man. It's just my life. It's just how it is. 